Welcome to Telegram Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty, and all. And this is what a date has been. One of those days when uh, <laughs> a channel is perfectly, perfectly um, formed. When one of those days when you <laughs> actually point out that this is the level where a bounce can be expected, and exactly that bounce happens. A uh, good day overall. A uh, lot of uh, stuff which we have been expecting for the last uh, two, three sessions have been working out exactly the way we thought it would. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll do start with the charts. So in yesterday's uh, Calagram market, we had said that there could be a little bit more downside. <coughs> uh, and we were very specific about it. We said a little bit more downside. And we said that the bottom of this channel could be tested, which is also this level, which the horizontal level which we had drawn. We said 21,460 might be the low. And let's see where exactly was the actual low. So we thought 21,460, 450, that kind of a level is where we can expect a low. And today's low was, uh, let me see the chart itself, right? 21,448, not bad. So, and then it bounced, taking the support. And now we have a bullish piercing candle. And this is important. Bottom of the channel, bounce, bullish piercing candle. Uh, looks like we are back into going up again. Bag nifty, I'm not so sure. So I'm going to uh, stay away from passing comments on Bank Nifty simply because I can't make a channel here. I'm not able to get a read on this. Uh, I would rather not have a read than give an incorrect read, right? Because it's okay to not participate in a trade. It's not okay to take a wrong trade. So Nifty bouncing <clears throat> from the bottom of the channel <clears throat> and uh, what's the other thing bottom of the channel bounce and bullish piercing candle right now if you look at option chain uh, plenty of uh, puts written 2600 calls gone Overall, 21,500 seems like a big support. 21,600 is somewhat of a support. 700 is a resistance, right? So this is a zone. Uh, 800 is also a resistance. 500 is a big support now because there were plenty of puts added at uh, 21,500. <clears throat> PCR must have dramatically improved from yesterday's 0.7. It has gone to... 0.9. So 0 0.9 is bullish. Now let's look at <coughs> participant data before heading to the crucial expiry tomorrow. So today was an expiry of Bank Nifty. So a lot of <coughs> retail call, etc. has been, uh, has expired. So today's picture will be very different. So first let's start with the summary. <coughs> FII sold index futures and index options a little bit, not too much. Uh, pro is massively long calls and short puts. Retail is mega, mega short calls and slightly long puts. So now retail is strongly bearish, <clears throat> right? Now, if you look at the overall, <clears throat> overall uh, position now, so this is FII's position. FII doesn't have too much of an open interest here now. It's like, FI is not the determinant of uh, this expiry, at least it looks like. Uh, Pro is almost out of it. They have some puts and some calls. But look at retail here. Retail is massively short calls and somewhat short puts. So um, FII and Pro are mildly, uh, so, sorry, I'll just uh, double check this one. See, all, so if, if you look at FII data, right, although it might look like they are bearish, it's not the case because uh, they have almost as many calls as puts. And FII data always has a slight uh, extra puts than calls. That is something that we know of, right? So if you look at the summary, uh, FII is mildly bearish on options, uh, but See, the point is this, right? This is the telling line for me. This is the real picture. In index options, pro is strongly bullish and retail is strongly bearish. So 
Spy is kind of uh, bullish, mildly, but let me not write FI because it'll be confusing for people. And then I have to explain the interpretation. So pro is bullish, retail is bearish, market expected to bounce back. So, so far, three things are positive. Chart is positive, open interest is positive. Even this is positive. <clears throat> what do you call this thing? The uh, participant wise data. Now let's look at one final thing. What's FII up to in futures? FII sold in futures, but overall um, is positive. Uh, I mean, the OI is positive. 650 CR FII sold in futures. But overall, OI is positive. So I'll not put a judgment here because daily they have sold. Overall, they are positive. And FIA on cash is 1,700 crores they have sold. Uh, so here's the thing, right? If you combine everything, this is positive. Chart is positive. Option chain is positive. PCR is positive. Uh, but that's of course a derivative of option chain. Participant OI data looks like market will bounce back and market is expected to bounce back for the simple reason that retail seems to be sitting on a lot of, uh, sorry. Sorry, where is that thing? Um, yeah, retail seems to be sitting on sold calls. Right, uh, where is that? This is client. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> too many, too many things. It's like slightly overwhelming. So they have sold calls, they have sold puts, but definitely um, this seems to be more right. Uh, but they have also sold puts. This is a little bit tricky because today, um, sorry. Uh, so the puts they always had sold. There is no significant change, right? This yesterday there was put sold. This is put sold, this is put sold. So all these put solds hasn't changed in the last three days. But calls, whatever they were long till yesterday, right? They were about um, uh, two and a half, I th think I should say we were about two and a half because retail is us, right? Two and a half lakh calls long. Now it is two lakh calls short. So retail has suddenly reversed their um, call OI, right? And you can see this here. <coughs> Retail has sold four and a half lakh calls. That is slightly tricky. Looks like we have a bounce. A market expected to resume uptrend. And this time the verdict is what our verdict was three, four. Uh, days back, which is bullish trade, so the risk reward of one is the way to go. <coughs> Bull call spreads for a Jan and might be a good trade, right? So, no judgment on Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, I'll just explicitly write because it looks like Bank Nifty might have some downside. So, uh, like, I've not drawn a convincing candle in Bank Nifty at least uh, so far. Um, I mean, here and there it might look okay, but. I mean, it's it's not really, really, really fitting, right? So let me just uh, try if we can get a fit. Because there's no point in Zabardasti fitting, right? I mean, if it fits, it fits. You can't like force fit. Yeah, this is a problem. I can't, I can't really fit fit. I mean, yeah, this probably, maybe, maybe I can join. No, right? I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no nice, clear, you know, one of those perfect clicks when you hear a click when it goes in type of a click. So, nay, I let me let me not do this right. If there's no proper um, lines, let's not invent stuff. So, I'll remove this. So, Bank Nifty, I'm less certain. Nifty looks like it will resume the uptrend. Now let's quickly go to uh, some of our user comments. 
Kayur is saying use weekly chart for Bank Nifty. I'll find a channel. Let's see. <clears throat> Stonks Doomer is asking what happened to eight lakh retail being bullish. Two things. One is Bank Nifty expiry, so a lot of their eight lakh calls expired. <clears throat> Second thing, today they reversed their position by selling four lakh calls. Uh, now let's look at the uh, events and. Let's look at what are the events, right? For this week, I think there was some event we had lined up, right? Uh, inflation data was tomorrow. US inflation data, eleventh <clears throat> Jan, Thursday, seven PM, which means we'll feel it on Friday morning. So tomorrow night is US car inflation data. We'll feel it tomorrow day after tomorrow morning. Uh, <clears throat> that is interesting. <clears throat> Uh, now, because we have been doing it for so long in this thing, let's also look at USDNR. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep saying USDNR. I should just say dollar, but old habits die hard, I suppose. <clears throat> Finally, it is out of the range. But I mean, it's not really, really out of the range. Because if I just lower this, shallow, back in the range. Right? Like, okay. <clears throat> it has breached 83 spot. Maybe it will have a little bit of a downside, but... Uh, that seems like it and nothing more. And uh, the other thing we had to look was, yes, if let's see if Bank Nifty has a weekly channel, right? Kayur, I hope you can get us out of this conundrum of not having a channel here. I don't know. I still got nothing. Or is it just... Is it me or is it like everybody else without a channel? So if you are watching this thing and if you can find any channel in Bank Nifty, proper channel, uh, you know, like a good fit. Like I, I've been getting a lot of channels from our viewers for the last few days. The only thing is it's not perfectly fitting every point. And uh, that's a little tricky, right? Because I don't want to go out and say that a channel exists when I'm not convinced about this. I can't find a channel. I mean, this is not a good fitting channel, right? So if you are watching this, if you can find a channel, please do let me know. I'll share that 100%. And I've been waiting for a good channel for quite some time. Hopefully, I'll find one now. So anyway, long story short, looks like Nifty is back in business. We might see Nifty going up again. Um, <clears throat> so that's that, right? So that brings an end to today's analysis. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, please take care.